Hi folks, Max from GalaxyNote2Root.com. For this week's ROM of the Week, check out CM11 again. The latest version now ships with Android 4.4.2. Um, this doesn't actually have new features or anything, but it does bring more stability, uh, performance improvements, um, security, and also uh, bug fixes. So it should be more stable and faster than ever. Uh, but CM11 looking pretty darn good. Um, some level of customization lock screen here. You can go ahead and set your shortcuts for the lock screen. Uh, maximize widgets. Um, you'll be able to change the themes. Go ahead and grab any Sinogen mod themes off the Play Store. They should still be fine regardless of Android 4.4.2. A quick, set a quick settings panel. You can customize, uh, add more buttons, um, change the order. Um, something we have seen, and this is pretty much all of the Sinogen mod customization. Uh, but the most important part is that uh, it is running Android 4.4.2 and it should be more stable and also performance should be uh, really, really good on this. Um, it is super fast. Uh, buttons, you can also uh, add screenshot to the power menu. Um, you can go ahead and add custom buttons. Um, you can change the like long press action for uh, your menu buttons, home button, and the volume buttons uh, for playback control when your screen's off. Um, that's pretty much it and uh, looking pretty good. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the Week. Uh, it is available for at and Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, uh, Canadian, GTN 7105, and GTN 7100. Um, also, if you want to enable Google Cards where you swipe to the left, make sure you sign in to Play Store, hit the menu button. Um, oops, what happened there? Uh, no, it's it's just updated Google search. That's what happened. That's not a bug. Um, go ahead and go to settings. Hit the Google Now on, and you should be all good to go. You should be able to see your cards now. Um, so that's pretty much it. Other than that, um, yeah, just check it out for this week's round of the week. And camera should be working just flawless. You may have uh, some trouble sometimes at the first time it uh, boots up and you try to use the camera. It might freeze on you. Um, just go ahead and reboot once and it should solve the issue. Um, so everything should be working. As far as data, um, data working just fine here. And uh, for those of you with GSM uh, versions such as at and Mobile Canadian, GTN 7105 or GTN 7100, uh, make sure you update your APN settings um, under mobile networks and go to access point names. Um, make sure you add a new access point name uh, usually you only have to fill out the APN to get data like HSPA and uh, 4GLT working. To get MMS working, you'll have to fill the rest of these out. Um, you can go ahead and Google the access point names. Um, just Google, for example, AT&T, Google AT&T 4GLTE APN settings, and then go ahead and fill it out. Uh, save it, and let me go ahead and save it here. Ah, All right, it won't let me save it for some reason. Discard. Um, save it and then go make sure you choose it and make sure it's uh, highlighted in green. Um, this one is Verizon, so it won't let me do it, but uh, all the other GSM phones, you should be able to do it just fine. Um, yeah, do check it out for this week's ROM of the Week. And also, you do need the latest version of Clockwork Mod 6.0.4.3 or higher. You can go ahead and grab, the, um, grab it uh, using ROM Manager app off the Play Store. Also, you can use a Twerp. Um, just make sure you're using Twerp. 2.6.3.3 or higher. Otherwise, um, you may be able to install, but things may go funky, like you'll lose your Wi-Fi or whatever. But just make sure you use um, the correct version of Clockwork Mod or Twerp Recovery, the latest versions. And that's about it, folks. And I will see you guys soon. And as always, if you have a Galaxy Note 2, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at uh, galaxynote2root.com. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.